nothing is not really a thing. There isn't something called nothing, but one could say what is or what apparently happens isn't something. So it's not something in particular. In that sense, it's not not something. Some people might say it's nothing. But there isn't a, a reality called nothing. Well, non-duality, again, it's the same thing with nothing. There isn't such a thing as non-duality. And it's also not, it's not a certain kind of reality or a way of being or something like that. One could say um, what happens or what seems to be is non-dual. There aren't two things. I mean, in the end, there isn't even one thing or many things. There just are no things. Well, in the end, it's what, what is happening is something and nothing. It's real and unreal. And somehow no thing somehow covers, covers that quite well. So, but it's what happens. sitting in front of a screen speaking it's not something in particular it's not a circumstance that's what this this uh, term tries apparently to cover <laughs> well the timeless wonder is a story of course but it's no thing <laughs> That fits well. It's just no thing. Being what apparently happens. That's the thing. When when we refer to no thing or the timeless wonder, I mean, it's basically the name of my website. So there isn't too much. It's not much more than that. <laughs> so when we refer to no thing, it actually, it means exactly what apparently happens. This is not something sitting in front of a screen and being you and me, being me is not something that happens. It's indescribable. It's unknowable. It's not something, no thing. There is no message. There isn't something I have to say to anyone. This is not not a, a, a message yeah one could say so yeah well that's exactly what's unknowable it's unknowable and in the end it's not only unknowable what happens in the end there isn't even knowledge about if something happens if sitting in front of a screen is something that happens there isn't anyone knowing that or anything that knows that in the story liberation would be the end of the sense to be a person the end of the sense to be something which is in here but it's a very superficial way of saying it because in a way the end goes together with the turning out that there just is no such thing as a self in here. It's a dream, very superficially spoken. It's a dream. The sense of presence, the sense that there is something in here. The turning out of that, which is the melting away of that simultaneously, is liberation. But it's a story, of course. Well, the story is that it's not real. The presence of me isn't real. And in a way, the melting away of that isn't real as well. And saying that liberation is a story also refers to that, that what happens is real and unreal. That it's never a real happening, that there is no real happening. In that sense, it's a story. It's not really happening. The sense of me isn't really happening. And the vanishing of it as well. 
Well, it, it depends on what is regarded because there is suffering in, as pain and physical pain and feelings. That's what apparently happens. But what I would regard as the actual suffering, which is a story, is um, being a person and the person, so to speak, seems potentially be able to suffer from everything. The, per the person suffers from suffering, so to speak, or from pain, from physical pain, from feelings. In the end, it suffers from being separate and regarding everything as not whole or regarding everything as not completely fulfilled. But as I said, what this message says actually is that this suffering is illusory. In that sense, there is no suffering. It's a dream of suffering. It's an apparent dream of suffering from being me and from not feeling fulfilled. Um, I wouldn't say so, of course. Because how I would understand spirituality or what's out there regarded as spirituality usually is a personal thing, which means it's about um, creating a, a fulfilled person. It's about showing paths and suggesting paths to, yes, to become a fulfilled person or to create a fulfilled person. That's when I look out there, so to speak, what I would regard as, as spirituality. Somehow change the way of experiencing, somehow trying to find the right attitude towards life, be grateful or something like that. So for me, I would regard spirituality as a personal thing. The person or the sense to be someone as, can um, assume fulfillment in any kind of circumstances. So it seeks in spirituality, but also in having a career or having a family or having an adventurous life or being humble and poor or being a punk or being rich. So what's being said here is that there just is no person and that the circumstances are totally they don't matter so it's not especially for spiritual people or it's not especially um unraveling the spiritual search to be unreal it's just the sense to be a person which is unreal and that's not, not spiritual in that sense. And on the other hand, that's maybe another thing that spirituality does a lot, is to promote states. I mean, the person promotes states, um, but in spirituality, it's, it seems to be especially about that, feeling good, feeling blissful, stuff like that. While in that sense, non-duality and discriminate between states. There aren't higher or lower states. There isn't more meaningful states or less meaningful states, like sitting in meditation or going to the toilet. It would be all whole and complete for no one. The, the idea of spiritual bypassing is still a concept of the person. It's still coming from the picture that there is someone on a path and that you can walk your path in the right way or in the wrong way. And as I understand it, the idea of spiritual bypassing is a bit like hoping that there is a shortcut to enlightenment, but over jumping issues or something like that. But of course, non-duality just doesn't recognize someone who's on a path at all. And yes, it might be that some seekers think that this is bypassing, that they can, um, they would try to use this message, of course, which the seeker does anyway. The seeker wants to use life 
to use this message in order to become fulfilled. But um, this wouldn't be what is suggested here, that it's a shortcut for you to enlightenment. Because again, what this says is there isn't anyone who is separate who can become whole. That's why there is no real improvement. Because within the person's dream, there is the assumption that I can um, develop from separation to wholeness, from unclarity to clarity, from, from A to B, so to speak. But that's a dream. Wholeness cannot improve, so to speak. Or when wholeness improves, it's not more wholeness afterwards. In that sense. I mean, it's just part of the seeker's experience to assume personal fulfillment somewhere. As I said, some people think they will be fulfilled when they have enough money or when they live an adventurous life. But some people think fulfillment is when I become enlightened. But they just go together. The sense to be someone, a sense of lack, and projecting fulfillment into the future. And in spirituality, enlightenment would just be the name for that assumed future fulfillment. But as I said, it's all part of the dream. They, they just go together. And when the person turns out to be a dream, its, uh, it's ideas about fulfillment just drop away as well.